Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to use the excerpt and how to do a custom excerpt wherein we decide how many characters we want to show uh, for the post, right? Now the next thing we want to do is have a read more after this. So once we have some of the content showing after that, we want to show the read more. So how do we do that? So what we'll do is we'll create a function again over here inside of our template tags and we'll name this function as Aquila excerpt more and it takes a parameter called more in case if you want to have some extra text added next to it you can you can do that so we'll check if the user is not on single page because if you don't want to show this excerpt if the user is on the single page because on single page we'll anyways be showing uh, the entire content so there is no need for the read more so we'll say more so we'll create a variable called more and again we'll use printf and then let's put that inside of a button opening and closing tag of button and then inside of the button we can have an a tag or anchor tag oops we can have an anchor tag and this is going to have percentage one dollar s this is where we'll put the URL of the post which will be permalink and then percentage two dollar s which will have the read more text okay and then we come back and then we are going to say comma and in the first parameter we are going to put get permalink and get permalink takes the WordPress post ID so we'll say get the ID and remember that this needs to be used inside the loop okay and comma and then translation function read more and then Aquila okay if the user doesn't pass anything in the more then this will be returned if it's not single okay and on single page nothing will be returned all right so let's just return more and what we're also going to do is we'll give this some of the classes so I'll give it a class and I want to get some margin so margin top 40 pixels this is a bootstrap class I'll give it a BTN BTN info class which is which are the bootstrap classes even for the anchor tag I want to give some of the classes so for this we can have Aquila read more and then text white the link should have text white okay so if you've got that so basically the HRF will be replaced by the HRF value will be replaced by the permalink and the this text is going to be returned by the read more okay and then finally we return the read more and all we have to do is just call this inside of the entry content just below the excerpt and then we'll just echo it out and now if I refresh it congratulations you've got the read more awesome so we have the read more also if you click on the read more then it just takes you to the single block page currently we don't have anything on that but uh, yes it does uh, and this takes you to the author page again currently we don't have anything on the author page so just serving from the uh, default index.php and you can see it's only serving the post by the author Imran H. Sayed uh, and you can see that for the author page which is the author archive if none of these pages are available it'll just use index.php Similarly, you also have the date option available. So date is just going to give us the permalink of the post. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. So we've got the read more. And in the next video, what we're going to do is we'll do the pagination because currently we're only displaying 10 posts, but there are more of them. And users should have an option for pagination. So we're just going to do that. All right. Great. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.